Welcome to Pop Turnative, where we dive into topical discussions from the worlds of pop culture, social media, and sports. Here is your host, Peter Romoliotis, aka PD Beats. PD Beats are from Pop Turnative, speed to a gin and Anna about Pachinko, which is premiering March 25th on Apple TV Plus. Thank you both for your time. Thank, Thank you. you. I love the energy. Yes. It's exciting. It's coming up pretty soon. We're really yeah. excited to see it. Jin Solomon has a mission when we meet him in the beginning of Pachinko. Yes. He's on a mission. He's got a goal. Then a lot of self-reflection kind of happens. So I'm just curious, um, what's it like for you to kind of see that journey for Solomon on screen? It's interesting. I, I think it's really exciting. I think it's really, um, uh, without giving away too much, I think the journey that we've follow him on is um, incredibly human. And I think it's uh, deeply moralistic. And I think um, he asks himself a lot of difficult questions uh, because he does come in with this ambition and this drive, if, especially from a world of finance. But there are powers stronger than global economics, he discovers. 100%. Anna, I find it very interesting. You've worked on a lot of amazing projects. You look at this project. I mean, there's so much at play here. It's beautiful. It's it's an amazing story. This is an important show. So what's your mindset like getting to work on a show that not only has a lot going on, but specifically is very important? What's that like for you? Um, well, I mean, I was a big fan of the book and I really wanted to tell the story of feeling like an outsider because we've all felt, felt that way. And um, Naomi specifically really spoke to me because I've been through a lot of what she's been through and it's exactly what my mom had to experience when she was working because she's also from, she was also working in the 80s. Um, and so it, it's, it's a dream project to be a part of. Absolutely. Now, Jen, you know, I always I come on these uh, these these interviews, and I want to maybe ask you questions you're not asked. You're not asked. You're probably asked this one a lot, but I'm really curious. You yeah. got you you spoke um, many languages in on this project, so I'm just curious, what was that like, and how did you prepare for that? It was so hard. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I had to work on uh, Korean with a slight Japanese accent, English, even my English. Actually, I worked with. Uh, a coach of mine from grad school um, to sort of develop this slight different New England, perhaps like upper middle class sound, because that's the from Choate and and I think in our show he went to no he went to Yale in our school uh, yeah. in our show, and so that world that he's in, how does he how does he speak? You know, what I'm saying like we thought about a little bit of like Christian Bale and American Psycho maybe, yeah. <laughs> uh, that world of finance at that time in the 80s. Um, and Japanese, we also had the Kansai dialect and the Tokyo dialect as well. So it was essentially just constant eating, breathing, and living uh, all the different languages for the lines. 100%. And I'm very interested. it's very interesting that you bring up the book because it is very, very popular, but they're going to be able to see the show March 25th, premiering on Apple TV+. Plus. What do you hope they get out of it when they watch the show? I hope they walk away with um, hope and courage to that even in the worst situations, there is, you know, always a light and that you'll get through it as long as you have that fire within you. Amazing. Well, thank you both for your time. March 25th, Prashinka will be premiering on Apple TV+. Plus. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you for tuning in to Pop Turnative. Make sure to check out our past episodes of Pop Turnative on YouTube. Be sure to like Popternative on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. This has been an Autograph Communications production.